And Washington is also deciding the fate of the 80-year-old Export-Import Bank. It's the official export credit agency of the U.S. government, providing funds for deals that commercial lenders are not willing to extend. Now, those deals include financing sales of U.S. exports to foreign buyers. And now some members of Congress say they don't want to renew the bank's charter. As Chris Cusquejo reports, they claim that the bank amounts to a welfare program for the world's biggest corporations. The machines run close to capacity at Callaway Trading in eastern Washington state, turning alfalfa into feed for animals. Since 2007, Washington state companies have exported more than $111 billion in goods financed by the Federal Export-Import Bank, five times more than either California or Texas. Callaway has received loan guarantees ranging from $5 million to $12 million from the Exim Bank. Export-Import Bank, by providing these loan guarantees to banks for their customers, it provides access to capital that might not otherwise be available. For aerospace giant Boeing, the stakes are much higher. It received about 30% of Exim's total financial assistance in fiscal year 2013, $8.3 billion worth. The number one user of the bank is the Boeing company. And so Boeing would really find itself in a less competitive position versus companies like Airbus. Even though Washington State is home to dozens of businesses who use the Export-Import Bank to help guarantee the creditworthiness of international customers, members of its own congressional delegation are divided on whether to renew the bank's charter. Those emerging markets don't all have the financial tools to make those deals a reality, but the Export-Import Bank can help. But Republican Congresswoman Kathy McMorris-Rogers is holding out support. In a statement, she said, I think we need to look at serious reforms to the Export-Import Bank as part of any reauthorization. At Renton Coil Spring, a manufacturer of springs and spring assemblies, the Exim Bank ensures an estimated 30 percent of shipments. Company leaders hope lawmakers hear this message. We're a manufacturing company that's increasing employment. You know, you're trying to help us out and not do something to risk that. Businesses large and small looking to the U.S. Congress to keep the Exim Bank alive. Chris Cascajo, CCTV, Seattle.